Hey, this is Wally and I was asked to show off our incubator. Now, this is the middle of winter. Well, it's, we're coming out of winter and we're getting into spring. So I only have one incubator going right now. Usually I have four or five hubabaters. I have two of these homemade refrigerator, wine cooler incubators. Right now we have one. And what do we have about 20 different sets of eggs? Now I have picked the eggs running in the leopard gecko room in, um, in the bead boxes, I don't have any crust gecko eggs going right now, no gargoyles. Again, it's April, you know, in about a month or so, we should start seeing some other eggs. Um, especially here, we'll fill this, probably in about a month and a half, we'll fill this incubator all the way up and we'll start some of the other incubators. I might start some of the other incubators now to just um, make sure that the temperatures are all okay, but this is our only incubator. I'll do an update probably in a month and a half or two. And I don't know if I mentioned, but this is from Bryce. Bryce requ requested seeing the incubator. So again, this is a homemade do-it-yourself. I found the wine cooler probably about 12 years ago, 13 years ago. Um, I have heat tape in there, the wide heat tape, uh, low wattage. Um, it's plugged in. I have a thermostat on it and I have a gauge so that we can monitor the heat and the humidity. Now you're going to ask, what's it doing in the middle of my room? Well, we just had a hot water heater issue. We had to pull out the hot water heater. Usually this is in the other room, kind of behind everything. And we had to bring it out here out of the way while we replaced that hot water heater. So at, by this point, you're just saying, just show us what's inside the incubator. So again, not many eggs here. Let's go ahead and take a look. And thank you, Nanette, for filming this so we could get a better look here. Again, some of these eggs are just starting off. We've got some uh, Nefers mealii. We have some Scabrums and uh, Benoye. I'm just kind of trying to read off here. Um, we have a Pachydactylus McLaughlinii. We have uh, Eurodactyloides, uh, Velarde and um, Agricoli. Uh, this next shelf we have, what do we have here? We have some uh, Bacodactylus oreophilus. In fact, and I don't know if we can get a close-up view of this, but hopefully you can see that. We have a little baby in there, black and white. Super cool. So I'll put that one away. I haven't looked uh, in about a day or so on this. He's cute. We have another container. And again, this is just a clay compound and it's moistened so that we keep the, oh my gosh, I see all kinds of babies in here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see that, but we have Tanganicus, we have some Stumpfi eggs, and we have, I can't even read it upside down, Bastard, uh, Periodora Bastardi, Periodora Stumpfi, Pachydactylus oreophyllus. So all of the eggs in here, all the babies are all the babies are small, but I can tell each one apart so I don't have any confusion. I would never ever put Pachydactylus oreophilus with a Pachydactylus mclaughlinii because the babies are just so uh, similar. It would be hard to distinguish them without a lot of uh, looking at them. Um, here, oh, it looks like we have another baby. So this is Hemidactylus tanganicus. I can see the baby. We'll see if we can turn this. By the time we turn it, he's probably running all over the place. Hopefully oh, you can I just see saw that. Going. There he goes. Hopefully I don't turn this so that all the eggs fall to the side. No. All right. And here we have scabrums. And usually I have some eggs in there. We've got a couple that are just really super close to hatching out. Uh, what else can I tell you about this incubator? This is set at 80 degrees. And here we have some McLaughlin eye, and I'm looking at these eggs, and you can see how the material is a little bit damp, but not totally damp. It looks like this is a bad egg. So I am going to pull that one right now. Hopefully I don't dump this whole thing. Looks like another egg in there isn't good, but I'm going to leave it in there because it's not molding up. This is, oh, this is a Hemidactylus prashardi. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And here you can see we have probably one good egg and probably two bad eggs. Um, again, I'm going to leave them in there because they're not molding. You never know. You just never know with these. And finally on the top shelf, I'm lucky that there's not as many as there normally is. This is a Pachydactylus oreophilus. 
cute little baby that we saw a little bit earlier. And finally, we have uh, day geckos, Falsuma grandis. So this material here, the sphagnum moss, is slightly damp. Um, I pulled these on 326, so we have a long wait for these, probably another couple of months, month and a half or so. You mentioned there's heat tape in here. Is that what's running down the back with the gold? That's exactly it. So the heat tape is in back. I might need a fan in here. I've never put a fan in here. I've never had any issues with hatching out the eggs. Uh, this runs really well. Again, we have another do-it-yourself uh, incubator sitting on the side, ready to go when we're ready, or when the crest of ga or when the geckos are ready. And we have four or five hubba baiters sitting in the closet that I just need to pull out and plug in. If you can find room. If I can find room. We're going, we're going to have to find some room somewhere. So um, tonight we're going to move this back over by the hot water heater in front of the hot water heater because hopefully that one doesn't go down uh, because it's brand new. But again, this was from Bryce, a request to see uh, our incubator. I'll do another update probably within about a month and a half to two months. And also members, if you have a request, something that you want to see in our facility, I'll certainly do my best to show it off. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Let us know. Bye-bye.